and welcome back to the channel everyone i have been quite busy lately as you can see we have the amp foundation aka ampera foundation and the reason why i'm making this video is not the usual style i do but because someone had a question and they mentioned that this might be a good video topic so we're going to do a little quick educational thing here especially because i'm getting tired of forgetting how to do this all the time so now i can at least go back to this video and remember how to do it because hey I play around with this stuff and I still get a little confused from time to time. Now, if you haven't already minted one of these, I would highly suggest you do so because it is completely free. Not very often you're going to get a free NFT, but again, this isn't quite like a regular NFT. There's really no value behind these, they're just cool little things to have in your wallet. A note is what's called an on-chain achievement token, and it's sort of like a digital badge to commemorate something. But the thing is, it's a little bit hard to get these to show up in the mobile, especially if you don't know what you're doing. Uh, this example is going to be for MetaMask Mobile. And as you can see, the Galaxy Oats do show up as NFTs. Uh, this is just a screenshot here from my MetaMask wallet. Again, notice, I have a $0 balance on the Polygon mainnet. Because I really don't do a whole lot in Polygon. But I do like to actually keep these Oats in the Polygon ecosystem. Especially because, you know, it's free... There, there's really nothing that I have to spend or do besides just a simple contract interaction. For my example, I'm just going to go ahead and assume that you've connected your wallet, you've went ahead and minted, and you, you just can't get it to show up in your MetaMask wallet, especially that mobile version. Uh, the desktop version, I'm not sure if you can even do it. I've never even bothered. I'm sure there's probably some NFT tracker, blah, 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 blah. But with me, I like to actually keep them on my phone. I just think it's kind of neat just to... Show them off every now and then. So once you have minted, you'll actually go down here, clear at the bottom to this import NFTs right here. Uh, the little link there at the very bottom of that wallet. And you'll be brought to the screen on your phone and you're probably going, what the hell? I have no idea of any of this. And that's understandable. You know, it's crypto. It's not for everyone, but I'm going to walk you through it here real quick because this is very quick. So the address, this address part here. That's right here. That's this contract address. You just simply copy it, add it to your clipboard. And on your phone, you would go ahead and put that address in there. Now, the collectible ID is what you'll really need because there are no such thing as, you know, two NFTs. They can't be counterfeited, obviously. So what this collectible ID actually is, I'm going to show you a quick example. Uh, I don't have mine right available, but we're just going to grab one here, right? So we go to the explorer of whatever blockchain you used. Uh, I used Polygon, obviously, so this is Polygon Scan. I'm just going to grab a random one here because, you know, I'm not importing it myself. I did this the other night. So this first one here, blah, 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 transaction, blah, blah, blah. Token ID. Click on it here. Yeah, you see the details? Token ID. That is what you need to put into that collectible ID section. So you'll have to know your transaction. Again, you'll be able to find it. It's pretty easy. But after that, all you have to do is hit import and it will show up. It might take a second or two, but it definitely shows up. It's not like minutes of waiting time, at least not in my experience. But I hope this video helped you out. And I know it definitely helped me out because now I will never forget anything about this because I'll just always go back to this video. So I hope you have a great day and just stay tuned. There's going to be a little bit more coming up especially with some more details about a certain trip to Flexa HQ.